Hello! In this video, I'm going to do examples of derivations where we use MTP. So let's get going. So we'll say show conclusion. We could make an indirect assumption, but uh, we don't need to. This derivation is going to be simple enough that it's unnecessary. So we have x or y, and we have not y. Well, that means we have the negation of this disjunct, and so we can say 2, 3, MTP. That gives us x. x is what we're looking for. We have a direct derivation. Pretty easy. By the way, as I'm going along with these, uh, you'll see the numbers, so you could certainly uh, work along with them. I think you'd find that helpful, so I recommend doing that. And if you need to, if the logic program doesn't have them in it right now, then shut it down and restart it, and it will download them. All right, let's take a look at this one. So again, simple enough that we're not going to need to make an indirect assumption. We have x or not y, and we have y. So we want to get x, so let's do 2, 3, mtp. Oh, that doesn't work. Why does it not work? Well, for mtp, we need the negation of a disjunct. So we need either the left disjunct is x, so we need the negation of that, so not x. Or the right disjunct is not y, and so we need the negation of that, and that is not not y. And so we need that, and we don't have that, but we can get it by uh, double negating 3, giving us not not y. And now we can do mtp with 2 and 4 giving us x. Okay, good. Moving like right along. So now we have, uh, we're trying to show a uh, conditional. We better make an assumption, assume cd. Uh, we don't need to do show consequent, we'll bring in our premise. So we have x and we have not not x or y. So we have, x, we have not x or y. So we want to do MTP with 3 if we can. That means we need the negation of either disjunct. So we need the negation of y, i.e. not y, or we need the negation of not x, i.e. not not x. Well, we can build not not x by adding the double negations to x, and then we can apply MTP to 3 and 4, giving us y. y is the consequent of our show line, and so we can apply CD to line 5, and that gives us uh, boxes and cancels line 1, completing the derivation. Okay, well, again, we have a conclusion who's a conditional, so we'll assume CD. Again, we're not going to need to show the consequence, so we won't. We'll say premise 1 and premise 2. Can we do uh, anything? Well, we look at 3 and 4. We see that they're both disjunctions, and so we're looking to do MTP with them. Well, we might notice right away we can do MTP with 2 and 3 because the left disjunct of 3 is X, and we have the negation of that on line 2, so we 2, 3, MTP, we're good to go. Now, we've used line 3. Can we use line 4? Well, we want, would want to do MTP with line 4, so we would need the negation of either disjunct. So we need not Z, or we need not not Y. We don't have not not Y, but we can get it. We'll apply double negation to line 5, and now we can do MTP with 4 and 6, giving us Z. Z is the consequent of our show line, so we can apply CD to line 7, which will box and cancel the show line, and we have completed our derivation. Okay, there are actually two ways we can do this. We can either do a make an assumption or not. We'll do it first without making an assumption, and then we'll do it with making an assumption. So we'll say premise 1 and then premise 2. So on line 2, we have x or y. Well, we'd like to do MTP with that if we could, so we'd like to have either not x or not y for MTP to get either x or y, but we don't have not x and we don't have not y, and there's no obvious immediate way to get either of them. So it looks like we cannot immediately do MTP with line 2. We look at line 3, we see that this is a conditional. This is the main operator. That, that's the main operator. So that's the consequent and that's the antecedent. Well, if we could get the antecedent, we could do MP giving us R, which would be nice because then we could uh, box and cancel with direct derivation because that's the conclusion. So one thing we might try, but we can't yet do MP because we don't have not if, not X, then Y. Uh, what should we do? Well, we could go back and make an indirect assumption, but we actually don't need to. We can, uh, we could, at least we don't know that we need to, we could do a subderivation instead. The derivation is stuck. We could do a subderivation. In particular, we might try to get if not x, then y, so that we could then do MTP, uh, mp. If we get this, then we can do mp. So let's see if we can get that. We'd say show antecedent of 3. We have if not x, then y. Well, we'll assume uh, antecedent using assume CD, giving us not X. Oh, we can do MTP with 2 and 5. 
giving us y, which is the consequent of what we're trying to show right now. So we can apply cd to box and cancel that line. And now we can do 3, 4 modus ponens, giving us our direct derivation. And we're done. It turns out that um, this x or y, oh, that's not what we want, and this, these are equivalent. And actually, a different, another equivalence, well, we'll write it out, is x or y is equivalent to, that's not what we want, uh, not x, or if, if x then y is equivalent to not x or y. So these two are equivalent. Um, and we think about that for a second, uh, that might make sense. Remember, there are two ways for a conditional to be true. The antecedent is false, or the consequent is true. So these actually say the same thing, and we'll be proving that, but we're not going to prove that yet, although this derivation does depend upon that fact. We don't need to prove the general fact, but what happens here is we get this by making that assumption and then using this line, and we uh, are able to derive line 4. We could do this differently. We could say show the conclusion, and then we'd say assume id, and then bring in our two premises. If we do it this way, we can do mt with 2 and 4 because negation r is the negation of the consequent of line 4, and we get not if not x then y. And at this point, we would have to do show on negation, right, with 5. That's the only thing we can do. And so we're going to show if not x and y, and that's actually what we just did in the previous derivation. We just did that, right? That's the, uh, it was, in that one, it was show ant of, of um, this. But either way, we're doing the subderivation of the same thing. We're doing a subderivation of this conditional, and it goes in the same way. We assume not x that interacts with the disjunction to give us y to give us cd. So it works the same. Either way, we get from this to this. Uh, in this case, we now have, we can box and cancel uh, with id. So this is slightly longer and maybe slightly more complex, but it works just fine. So those are a bunch of examples of derivations with MTP. So good luck on your derivations. Uh, if you have any questions about the derivations, please let me know.